Hello, this is Gary and welcome to the ES Test version 1.5 patch preview. In this video, I'm going to go over some of the features in the newest version of the ES Test software. In this patch, we've introduced the concept of identity translation of URXML documents. That is, we've, we've provided a way for users to write or edit URXML files using a text editor and upload them to their ES Test account using the normal web interface. Before showing how to upload URXML documents, I'll introduce a plugin that will aid in writing basic URXML files. In the ES Test plugin sandbox, select the plugin UR Writer. Running this plugin will provide a form with the basic input fields for setting URXML information. In this run of the UR Writer plugin, I've already filled in a lot of these fields, and let's go over what some of these informations that we've set are in this form. In this section of annotations, well, first we provide an input field to set the identifier that is the destination path for this URXML document in the account of the ES test user. In this case, this, this is specified using the forward slash file path convention that we use with ES test. Next comes the host name or the machine name used to run this simulation, which defaults to the local host. We can set the abstract as well as a comma-separated list of keywords for this URXML document. The simulation data section first provides for fields setting the program information, that is the code name, which will always be identity, giving the identity translator, and then the program name, which in this case is QBox, and the program version number. Some parameters, such as the plane wave cutoff, are provided in units of Rydberg, the unit cell lattice vectors are given in their components in the units of Bohr. The atomic species can be input as a text file in which each atomic species is input as a conversated list of the species name, the atomic mass, and then the species symbol, with each species being separated by a new line. The coordinates of all the atoms in the simulation can be input in the XYZ file format which is given in units of angstroms that will then be converted to units of Bohr in the standard URXML representation. Unfortunately, this plugin does not currently support setting the spectrum eigenvalue information. The energy values for the simulation can be input as two lists of common separated values. The first one specifies the energy component names, and then the next list specifies the corresponding values to those names for the energy. The stress tensor can be set using their, coordinate va their component values in units of gigapascals. And this section can also be deleted in the, in the product of the plugin in the case that stress has not been calculated for the simulation. Finally, in the input form, we provide two fields to, for the text areas to provide the input of the standard input for the simulation as well as the standard output of the simulation. And for many simulation codes, this will suffice to provide the I.O. records of the original quantum mechanical simulation data. In this case, for QBox, we provided two files ch4.i, and then the output file ch4.r, which is the complete copy of the XML document produced by QBox. Submitting this form will pr produce a valid URXML file that can be uploaded to ES Test via the Identity Translator. I've already gone ahead and saved this file to the local computer and now let's see how to upload it to the ES test server. The identity translator is accessible through the normal create uh, interface in ES test. This patch additionally implements automatic detection of translators installed to the server and makes it easier for developers of translators by better defining the translation the translator installation process. These changes will not be demonstrated in this video, and we refer to the track documentation for more information. Back in the creation form, select the identity translator and upload the URXML file that we previously downloaded. In this case, it's called ch4.xml. Submitting this form, we produce one simulation to, the, to upload it to the ES test account for tester. The identity translator in this case has automatically assigned the value of a new UUID to the, to the URXML document, as well as setting the creator username and then the creation time for this document. 
We can now treat this uploaded identity translation as any other URXML document in the ES test server. This feature is also useful for restoring an archive of URXML documents downloaded previously from ES test. For example, we can select a set of URXML documents and then download them as an archive. In this case, we've produced a1.har.gz. In the case that we've somehow deleted these documents, we can easily restore them to the server by using the tr identity translator on the archive that we have previously downloaded. And we see here that our documents have been restored, except that the UIDs have been changed to a new value as well as the creation time has been altered for the new upload process. Thank you for watching the ES test patch preview and you can find out more information about this patch and all other information related to ES test at estest.ucdavis.edu.